This lesson is going to show you how to multiply decimals and whole numbers. First, we want to uh, represent a decimal as an object. So let's say we have the decimal 0 0.01. Let's, let's represent that as a little box. And we can change the color of that box. Let's say it's an orange box. So then with that logic, 0 0.02 is actually going to be two of those boxes. Okay, so each little orange box is one one hundredth. The second place to the right of the decimal is the hundredth place. So we have one one hundredth is a little orange box, and then we have two one hundredths is a little orange box. So let's say we have this problem, that it's 1 times 0 0.04, or 1 times 4 one hundredths. Well, we know each one hundredth is an orange box. So here we have four of them. Okay, we have four orange boxes, so four one hundredths, and we're multiplying it by 1. And we know that any number times 1 is the same number. So 1 times 4 hundredths is going to be 4 hundredths. So it equals 0 0.04. <clears throat> now let's say we had a different problem. Let's say it's 2 times 4 hundredths. Okay, so we have four of these orange boxes. Each box is one one hundredth. And we want to multiply it by two. So we take those four and we double it. So how many orange boxes do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two times four one hundredths will actually get us eight one hundredths. Now if we want to show this as just a multiplication problem, because you're not going to want to draw boxes all day, let's do this problem. 0 0.006 times 7. Okay. Well, in this case, it's actually six thousandths. So we would, if we were to draw the boxes, we would need a box that represents a thousandth, and we'd have six of them. Okay, and then we want to multiply that by seven. So if I use the copy and paste, Copy, paste. So there's two of them. There's three of them. There's four of them. There's five. Six. And we have seven of them. If you were to count all of those up, you'd have six. So there's six of them here. And there's seven rows. So it'd be six times seven. And remember, each of these little boxes is actually one one thousandth. So we do 6 times 7, and that's going to be written in terms of thousands. So 6 times 7 is 42, and then 7 times 0 is 0, plus 4, and 7 times 0 is 0.
so we have 42 thousandths. And if you counted up these, each box is a thousandth. And you'll see that you have 42 of them. And that's the answer there.